Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen the files concept. So how to open a file, how to create a file and how, what are the different access modes and then we have seen how to close a file. So in that we have seen the access modes, the majorly three access modes that is read, write and append. So we can open a file in any one of these access modes. Now let us see in this session the reading and writing operations on files. Right. So, for reading operation, a file should be opened in read mode. For writing operation, a file should be opened in either write mode or append mode. So, in the write mode, if file exists, content will be overwritten. So all the previous content will be overwritten. A file doesn't exist. New file will be created. So in this append mode, the same. If the file exists, pointer point set end of content if the file doesn't exist new file will be created right so a file can be created in two modes either uh, either write or append so after opening the file then we have to perform the reading and writing operations see, let us see the reading operation or, or first we, we will see the writing writing operation so there are two methods one is write another one is write lines write function write lines function right so the name itself indicates this write function will write so a single line uh, whereas write lines function will uh, write the multiple lines see the syntax is so before going to implement these two write lines or write function we have to open the file So we have seen the syntax in the previous session file object is equal to open some abc.txt and in write mode write mode so if you want to write this uh, i mean if you want to write the content into a file we have to implement this one by using the file pointer f1 dot write and this will take one argument that is string so whatever we want to write into any file that should be written as an argument right so always it will return the string it will write the string into a file so string consists of alphabets numbers symbols and everything will be comes under this string right so anything can be written into a file as an argument so we have to pass it in an argument see example first i will write uh, i will open a file f open abc.txt write next f1.write so we can we have to write the string directly 
वेलकम टू सो ऑटोमेटिकली दिस कंटेंट विल बी रिटर्न इन टू एबीसी डॉट टी एक्स टी राइट सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट आई मीन इन ऑर्डर टू राइट द कंटेंट ऑफ वन लाइन सो इट इट विल नॉट कंसिडर द न्यू लाइन कैरेक्टर राइट सो वेर एस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट द मल्टीपल लाइन गो विद दिस सो ही ऑल्सो we have to implement this by using the five pointer so right lines f1 dot right lines so here let us see the example see see f1 dot right lines give the list of lines so first of all we have to write the lines in a list and the list should be passed in passed as an argument to right lines see example f1 is equal to open abc.txt write mode next lines is equal to i am creating a list hello welcome Python programming. So here I have written three elements as a strings, and these three elements I have written in a list called lines. So you should pass these lines to the right lines. Now here write f1 dot right lines of lines. So this will automatically write all these three. Lines. Right. Hope you understood this one. Okay. So these are the two methods to write the data into a file. Now let us see the reading operations. Here, similar to the write function, the reading operations are also of three types. And we have to implement this reading operation by means of this file pointer. So, first of all, in order to read the content of a file, we have to open the file in read mode. So, first one is. Read function. So we have to implement f1 dot read. Here the argument is bit positions. The one argument it will take it will take a bit positions as an argument. So here whatever the bits you have mentioned, those bits will be displayed on the screen. For example. the text is hello welcome and if you are trying to read file f1 dot read file so this is the content available in abc dot txt so i have opened this abc dot txt in read mode and then so whenever you you open the file in read mode the file pointer will be at the starting position so f1 dot read of file that means from the starting position five bits will be read and it will be displayed on the screen so five means 0 1 2 3 4 5 so the output for this one is hello and immediately after executing this one the file pointer will be at this position because already Five has been displayed again. If you write one more statement like read five, from here itself it will count five. So space is also a character one, two, three, four. So this output is space w e l c. So one, two, three, four, five. Right? This will be printed. 
Now after executing this one, the file pointer will be at wo. File pointer will be at wo. So if you write again the statement f read of three, this will give wo m e. Right. So every time the operation is executed, the file pointer will be moved towards its right side. Right? So unless you close the program, close the file and open the file, the file pointer doesn't comes to the beginning of the file. So here, this bit positions is an optional thing. So if you mention here the bit positions, that many bit positions will be displayed. Or if you are not mentioning here, if, if you are uh, just writing as f1 dot read, this will return everything, all the content of the file. Hello? Right. So this position, this bit positions is optional one. So we can specify the positions, how many characters we need to read, or if you want to read everything, just we can ignore this bit position. Just we can write f1 dot read. Everything will be printed. If you if you display the, some number, that many characters will be printed, and the file pointer starts moving from its right, from the beginning to its right. This is about the read. Next, read line. See, the second one is read line. So let it be here. There are three lines. Hello, welcome Python programming. Now, if you open this abc.txt in read mode, and if you are trying to read, implement this read line, so whenever we open this uh, file in read mode, the file pointer will be at the starting position. Right? Starting position. So if you implement this read line, the first line, the content of the first line will be displayed. So hello will be printed. So everything in the first line everything in the first line so after executing this one the file pointer moves to the second line because every content all the content of first line is displayed if again if you are implementing this read line in the same program without closing the file right so if you close a file once and if you open the file automatically the file pointer again points at the beginning so unless you close the file, the file pointer doesn't change its position, right? So here, after executing this first read line, the file pointer will be at the second line. So again, if you execute this read line, it will print welcome. Now the file pointer moves to the beginning of the third line because second line, the complete content of the second line have been printed. Next, again, if you implement the same thing, read line, once again, the third line will be printed. The third line will be printed, right? So, read line means reading the entire line. Content of single line. So whatever the content having in the line that will be printed. So this is it doesn't take any argument, right? It's an argument list. It doesn't take any argument. Next, the third one is simple thing that is plural. Read lines. Read lines. So it read lines means reading the content of all lines so f1 dot read lines so it's a multiple lines right so this implementation of this function will return everything hello welcome so all the lines will be printed 
So hope you understood this one. Then let us see an example. So just we will write a program to write the content and to read the content. First, uh, to, in order to write the content, we need one uh, file pointer. So first we have to create a file. So f1 is equal to open right. Let's take the same file name abc.txt write so in write mode that means a new file will be created. So immediately after executing this one, so one file will be created one file will be created with abc.txt and the pointer will be at the beginning right next f1.write welcome to python so after executing this now it will be written welcome to python now the file pointer points at this position right now f1 dot close so automatically the file pointer has been closed again open the file pointer in a read mode open abc.txt read mode automatically this will be in read mode and the file pointer points at this position next so if you write f1.read it will read everything but it will not be printed on the screen because it will be in buffer so we have to assign a variable and then we can print that variable in uh, so that the content will be displayed on the screen or directly we can call this in the print function so print f1 dot read so from the beginning itself everything will be printed in the output screen everything will be printed so welcome to python will be printed right so hope you understood this one so let us stop here so in this session we have seen the reading and writing operations on files uh, reading or writing data on files so in that we have seen the write function and write lines uh, and read read line and read lines so here the major important thing is the position of the file pointer so unless you close the file the position the position of the file pointer will never come to the beginning of the file right so the file pointer keep on executing the statements the file pointer also moves from the starting position to the towards its right so let us stop here hope you understood this simple session so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, python programming feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts so if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much